Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to show you the process we go through here on Major Geeks before we add a file to the site. As you may or may not know, we only have six, seven, eight thousand files where most sites have literally hundreds of thousands and the reason for that is our attempt is to be the top one percent of the best freeware and shareware on the market. We're very fussy about it. We like to test everything. We try to walk the walk. It's just two guys here. There's no company, no health care, and very little sunshine while you're at it. But seven days a week we do this, and this is what we would do. I'm going to pick asterisk key, and one of the reasons I'm going to pick it is it's a covert op program. Uh, at most of these programs during covert ops will actually flag as a virus because of the way they work. They tend to delve into your registry and stuff like that, and most of the programs that do that will flag. You also have to worry about bundleware and attach programs with it. So we want to check for all this stuff. Our first step will actually be to Google it. Ooh, number one, yay, major geeks. But we, uh, we'll basically Google it, and we'll look and see what websites have it, what they say. We'll skim the reviews, which... We don't spend a lot of time here, but sometimes we can just eliminate a program right from the get-go where you just see all across the board it's just a garbage program, and we'll just probably stop right there. However, anything with a three-star plus, we're going to look at it because most of the reviews aren't always accurate. So that's the end of that. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull up VMware Workstation. This allows me to run a virtual machine. In other words, an operating system inside my operating system. So I have a clean install sitting here waiting to go at all times. We're going to fire that up now by heading back to an original clean install. There's nothing on here, nothing fancy. While we're in here and get this thing started up, the next move is going to be to take a look at viruses anything's possible so we're going to actually check and again you have to have a tiny bit of knowledge here simply because false positives are quite possible so we want to make sure that everything that we're seeing on there is accurate and we have to take into account in this case that if something comes up flagged we do want to know whether it's accurate if it's because that there's uh, software bundled with it or if it actually is a virus which I'm gonna be honest with you true actual virus and infections in the downloads today are a lot less likely than you would think the confusion is the bundled software and some of it's some real garbage so I mean I get it but as I said we had a video we did uh, not too long ago explaining how to avoid all that stuff so let's do a quick scan on it see if it's been scanned lately looks like somebody scanned it today so as you can see it detected three and what you gotta be careful with the virus total is false positives is there one is there three is there five if it if it comes up twenty or thirty of them you probably got a problem however three of them is probably not going to be a virus two of these are under trend a virus tends to be pretty aggressive. My bet at this point would be that they're false positives, again, because of the way the program works. So I'm feeling pretty good right about now. So we're going to jump over here. We're going to install it on the virtual machine, and we're going to see how it runs. We're going to make sure nothing pops up with any kind of bundleware. Uh, I'm going to read the terms about as much as anybody else does, not at all. Run it. As you can see, subscribe to a free letter, but you can you'd have to actually check it. So this is about as clean as it gets. And I'm not gonna run the run the program too much because well I'm not gonna give you the keys to everything I got. But basically with asterisk key, I've done it, I've used it. I actually keep this on my drive, so I'm I'm a little more familiar with it than most. But you would basically start anything, let's say your browser where you have your passwords hidden under asterisks, and you would click recover, and once you click recover. As you can see, it's searched, nothing's open. It'll pull your password out. I've had, I've used this thing to pull, recover passwords from email and stuff like that that I forgot. Really a great little program. So this one here was a no-brainer. We, we, uh, we've had this on the site for years, but it's just a decent little example one. Now, as I explained to you before, just for kicks so you understand, now I can start and I could actually restart my VMware, come back in, and this is kind of, 
kind of handy to do just in case sometimes maybe you reboot maybe there was something hidden that you didn't see or we didn't know about and all of a sudden we come back up in Windows and there's a third party program I've actually seen that happen they stuff can be pretty pretty sneaky so better safe than sorry before we put it on the website for you we just want to be as sure as we can hundred percent that we're not giving you a file that's going to cause you problems and if it has a bundle where it we properly marked it for you so uh, let's see let's go to all programs you can see that's the last thing installed let's double check it's not showing anything installed and we go to the control panel make sure there's not a hidden program in there and there's not again nothing is a hundred percent it doesn't exist uh, if somebody points something out to us and said hey this did this or this did that you didn't notice that people were great about emailing us we will immediately run the program try and duplicate it and see if it needs removed from the site it, it's a decent amount of work but it's pretty cool so so now what I do with this when we're done every single time I'll go back to here and I will revert to my latest snapshot I keep a couple of them and I'll revert to that snapshot meaning I come right back to a clean install again so this is a really great way to do it it's a somewhat expensive program for the full-blown one but it's easily worth the effort so for the most part there you go that's uh, how major geeks checks for software it's not just uh, we'll scan it and say it's okay we actually like to run it in again in the process of running it make sure that you're getting what you pay or don't pay for and not getting anything you don't want anyhow that's how we roll at Major Geeks. We appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time.